Welcome to Goodnight Robin, your someone to say goodnight to. I'm your host, Robin Rice. I'm happy to share that the Shalia skincare line, which I personally use, is now the first corporate underwriter of Goodnight Robin. Shalia says you are beautiful, you are confident, you are strong. What I love are that Shalia products are clean and made in small batches with organic ingredients and love in the USA. They are dermatologist tested, vegan, free of parabens, fragrance, and gluten. All the good stuff is in, all the bad stuff is out. To learn more, visit shaliabotanicals.com, S-H-A-L-I-A botanicals.com. And of course, the link is in our show notes. Hello, friends. Another evening with Robin. Thank you so much for joining me. Tonight, I'm going to share with you a poem by Robert Bly, because it's just got such a funny title. It says, The Resemblance Between Your Life and a Dog. Can you imagine where on earth we're going to go with that? He says this, I never intended to have this life, believe me. It just happened. You know how dogs turn up at a farm, and they wag, but can't explain? It's good if you can accept your life. You'll notice your face has become deranged, trying to adjust to it. Your face thought your life would look like your bedroom mirror when you were ten. That was a clear river touched by a mountain wind. Even your parents can't believe how much you've changed. Sparrows in winter, if you ever held one, all feathers, burst out of your hand with a fiery glee. You see them later in hedges. Teachers praise you, but you can't quite get back into the winter sparrow. Your life is a dog. He's been hungry for miles. Doesn't particularly like you, but gives up and comes in. I know that's a very weird poem, but I like it. I like the title. Our life is just sort of this dog that turns up, and here it is. It doesn't have to be magnificent, spectacular, the best life ever. You don't have to be the best accountant ever, the best lawyer ever, the best ever, ever, ever. You don't have to even always understand yourself. You might not speak your own language for a really long time. I thought it was just a really perfect poem for some humor, but also some truth. The resemblance between your life and a dog. Anyway, this dog has been hungry for miles. Doesn't particularly like you. Do you ever not particularly like yourself? I think that happens. But he gives up and he comes in. And I think that's actually not a bad way to go. Again, you don't have to look in the mirror and say, wow, that's beautiful. You just look in the mirror and you go, yep, that's me. I don't know about you, but that makes me feel like it's a lot easier to do life. So maybe your life is not like a dog, but today mine is. And it's a good thing. Dogs are nice. Anyway, those are my thoughts. If this was completely uninteresting to you, forgive me. I'll see what I can do tomorrow. Good night, my friend.